this is for the pick. He, uh, he absolutely pulverized that uh, spinnerbait. I rolled it over that uh, little stick there. Big, little hook out of him. Big hook, actually. I'm surprised he got hooked. Jet and white. Well, good evening, uh, fellow subscribers. It's uh, April 9th, the uh, what is it, fifth day of quarantine, so in St. Louis. I'm out here fishing again, in case you hadn't realized. This is a rod and everything, and out here by a bathroom and water and everything. <coughs> well, uh, I was worried it was going to be very, very bad considering how cold it's been, but in actuality, I'm actually finding some active fish. There seems to be a few bluegill bedding in the shallows, and I saw two bass up and down the shoreline, smaller males guarding what looked like their attempt at beds. I mean, they're, they're a really big bass in this lake, so I don't think they're bedded out yet, but the smaller ones seem to have come into the shallows, and they have bedded. The water is actually far warmer than the air right now. 53 or 54 degrees. Um, let's see, I tried the Texas rig and I like it with blue gold pecs on it. And rooster tail, I don't seem to be able to hold quite deep enough and roll over these rocks and sticks properly. So the spinner bait with a uh, chartreuse grub on it seems to be popping them. Uh, let's see if I can get some more. Well, good evening. Uh, Fellow subscribers, it's uh, April 9th, the uh, what is it, fifth day of quarantine, so in St. Louis. I'm out here fishing again, in case you hadn't realized. This is a rod and everything, and out here by a bathroom and water and everything. <coughs> well, uh, I was worried it was going to be very, very bad considering how cold it's been, but. In actuality, I'm actually finding some active fish. There seems to be a few bluegill bedding in the shallows, and I saw two bass up and down the shoreline, smaller males guarding what looked like their attempt at beds. I mean, they're, they're a really big bass in this lake, so I don't think they're bedded out yet. But the smaller ones seem to have come into the shallows, and they have bedded. The water is actually far warmer than the air right now. It's like 53 or 54 degrees. Um, let's see, I tried the Texas rig, and I like it with bluegill pecs on it. And rooster tail, I don't seem to be able to hold quite deep enough and roll over these rocks and sticks properly. So the spinnerbait with a uh, chartreuse grub on it seems to be popping them. Uh, let's see if I can get some more. Still catching fish, unfortunately, they're not the size of the uh, species I'm going to want. A fish is a fish, but you know, it's like I'd rather have a two pound bass than a well, seven inch blue zone. Bye bye. The eighth bluegill on the day, still catching them. You know, I just about had a heart attack. I, I got about halfway over the lake before I realized, uh oh, I forgot my phone. Ever had that happen to you? Luckily, the lake is so minimalized with people that, you know, no one even saw it. Bye bye, buddy. Come on, wake up. Wakey, wakey. There you go. He's out of water for a minute. He'll be fine. This little guy got my heart racing. <laughs> Popped it hard. Thought I had a good one. And he's a little guy, but my species. He just falls out on me. I might just end this up here. It's late. The sun's getting low. Caught a few. 
about this size actually. I think it's about almost a pound or so. We let that last one chase it right to the shoreline. And this one right on the other side is the exact same thing. Alright buddy, let's let you go. And take off on me? He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Nice and gentle again. <laughs> All right, drizzling rain, quarantine day number six. First fish of the day, folks. Solid three. Woo wee! <laughs> Boy, she scared me. I just, she just barely touched that lord. I, I didn't even think I had a, thought I had the bottom. She just kept running towards me. Got her right on the nose. There's number two on the day. Last one could have eaten this one. Fine. Well, day six of coronavirus has ended pretty quickly. I can't really take the cold anymore. It's been kind of icky without the sun. And uh, I caught a few. A nice three and a half, four pounder was a definite, a definite, uh, definitely good fish. I'm glad to have seen those fish are still in there active, healthy. I had to get a little bread for my uncle when I 